Hello and welcome to the Son of the Toa, another Bionicle fan game that I uh, intend to play now. And it was made also in RPG Maker 2003, like The Legend of Matazuto, which I previously played. Now this game is quite similar in some ways to that game, but also in some respects different. So uh, let's get one thing out of the way. This is also one of my favorite Bionicle fan games ever and uh, the reasons are basically the story once again uh, and also I really like how this game has how this uh, game has been made. It has some interesting characters uh, really nice mapping if I remember correctly it has been a long time since I've played this game actually, so there's a lot of things that gonna, are gonna, going to be um, a surprise for me because I really don't remember that much about this game, but I remember the general story and where to go and that sort of thing. But yeah, without uh, further ado, let's let's begin this game and uh, select a new new adventure. Cyan Gaming. So I think this is the same group that made the Legend of Matazuto. Uh, although it was called Cyan Productions in that that particular game. In the time before time. In a world you can only imagine. A great evil held dominion over all things. Sent to counter him were the six Toa. These heroes defeated Makuta's minions. And together confronted the demon himself. When the dust had, s had settled, the six Toa stood tall. But the peace was not to last. For from the depths arose a terrible creature. One by one, the Toa tasted death at the hands of the rock she called Shadows. The peaceful island of Matanui was engulfed in darkness. Until another Toa arrived, Takan, Master of Fire. Along with his Matoran son, called Matev, Takan confronted shadows. I failed, Matev. Don't say that, Takan. To a Takan? Father! This can't be happening. 
I fear the nightmare is only beginning. Take my mask, Matev. It's up to you. This nightmare threatens to remain a reality. You must defeat shadows. Twenty-five years later. Ah, this isle gets lonelier every year. The sunset haunts me. I can see the blood of my father on that crimson horizon. He died in vain because of me. I can't face Matanui. By now Shadows has brought the island to ruins. My destiny is to pay for my cowardice by dying alone here, and to Kurzani with my soul. Matev. Hm? Who's there? You have one chance at redemption, son of the Toa. Son of the Toa? What's that supposed to mean? Redeem your father's name. Shadows has arisen from the wounds dealt to him 25 years ago. There is time enough to counter him, son of the Toa. Takan, I will avenge you at any and all cost. And that's how it begins, the Son of the Toa. A really, a really great game. I like it a lot. Um, it also has many, many interesting things about it. And it's just entertaining to, to play. I'm really excited for this, uh, this particular game. Okay, and we, yeah, alright, that's how it starts. There's some basic instructions here. And once again, we have a cool custom uh, menu here. And yeah, as you can see, I have already played this game, but long ago, so I really don't remember much about this game. Just the general stuff. Okay, we got a dagger. Uh, all right. Well, let's equip it. Shores. Okay, so the Tawahi Beach. This also has a very nice uh, interpretation of the island of Matanui. Really cool uh, mapping and so forth. Okay, there's nothing here. I think we're gonna end up in uh, Takor Takoro first. Yep, looks looks about right. There could be something here now. It's not really clear where you can go and where you can't. Oh, okay, so we have a battle here. Now, unlike in the Legend of Matazuto, here I can actually use the battle system aside from just the auto battle. Because it's much uh, simpler, but you can, but the auto battle is still nice. Um, it makes things a little bit quicker. So I will be using the auto battle, but not all the time. Unlike in <laughs> the Legend of Matazuto, where I pretty much used it exclusively. All right, let's go to Takoro. I think this is the right. Okay. I wasn't aware Matoran were po posted to guard the bridge these days. Hey, the w w I, when the Rahi are all we've got to worry about, we don't bother. But with demons like that Rakshi. Mind my asking what your business is? I've come to save Matanui from that being you mentioned. Huh, you fight against the Rakshi? And how could you do that? I don't suppose you've got any fighting skills in ya. Would I bother... W would I bother you if I didn't? Would it bother you if I didn't? Oh ho, I sense a challenge. Bring it on then, you roke. And 
our first boss battle comes really quickly after we begin the game. Granted, it's not much of one. I'm pretty sure we'll be able to beat beat this guy really easily. But then again, what do you expect from <laughs> the first the first boss of the game? I don't even know if it's supposed to be a boss battle. Probably not even. Anyway, yeah, we are playing as um, Matev, who apparently was the apprentice of Takan, who... Oh, we run Fire Pillar. Oi, bless my mask, you're telling the truth, sir. By all means, I'll raise the bridge for you immediately. Okay, and like... There you go, sir. And may any mission you set out upon be successful. Okay, that was... Not too bad, indeed. Yeah, this guy, apparently... Um, I'm the local storyteller. I recall events and artifacts from the day Matanui was first inhabited. Okay. Matev... Um, is the... son of... Takan only in the sense that he's like an honorary... apprentice of that Toa, so that's why they call him the son of the Toa in this uh, in this game. Okay, we've made it to Takoro. Well there, not just any rogue can walk right into Takoro during these dark times. My business is key to defeating the Rakshi. Ha! Huh, and just who sent you? I don't suppose you have a pass from your Turaga. Matanui sent me. Do you need to have a pass from him? I think it, it'd burn your hands off. You've got to be drunk. Either that, or perhaps a twisted minion of the Dark Rakshi. On guard, foe! And, once again, we find ourselves in a battle with the Matoran. For the son of the Toa, this guy fights a lot of Matoran. Ah, <laughs> oh, that fire skill is pretty cool. Apparently, Matoran can learn elemental powers in this game. I think it's actually, it's not just Matev, it's also other Matoran who learn elemental moves throughout the game. And that's how we win. And we got some good stuff. I, I don't believe it. Next to Captain Jala, I'm the best fighter in Tokoro. Are you going to let me through? Seeing as how, how I can knock you out, move right through, sir. Thank you. It's kind of a weird reason to let us go through, but oh well, we'll take it. Let's see here. Art gallery and Jala's office. Oh, yes, I do remember the art gallery. It's a place where you can sort of collect stuff. Greetings, I'm the caretaker of this, this place. My pride and joy, my art gallery. But recently, my art has been stolen, scattered across the island. If I were not, not so old, I would find them myself. If you would find them all for me, I promise to reward you. Yeah, so we can collect art here from all across the island, or all around the island. We'll see if we can do that. Um, it's not a bad idea to do that sort of side quest. Hello, I haven't seen you around before. Huh, odd. And that's all Jala has to say to us. Oh, I'm sorry, sir, but you are not permitted to top the Great Wall. Alright, well, we don't need to go there. It's fine to just go into the village itself. This is probably the shop. Welcome to the Takoro shop, indeed. Oh. Alright, we've got some equipment here. We could use a robe, I'm sure. Since, uh... Extra defense is not a bad idea. I came all the way from Gakoro to shop here. I'm a collector, in fact. And sadly, it seems that as if they're sold out of what I've come for. Would you be willing to part with a disc for my hatchet? Well, I don't have a disc. So, uh, it's alright, I, all right, I suppose. Well, maybe we'll find a disc later. Hello there, I make statues and trinkets out of stone such as these. If you ever find some, bring them on back and I can make something for you. If I weren't getting paid so much to do this, I'd quit and go back to Onukoro. 
Alright, at least it's not a uh, slave labor. Let's see what we have here. Oh, chapter 22. Marcus' mistake, a deep mistake she had made for falling in love with Jala, was loving a lover who could not be. Marku and Jala? Okay. Hello there. Afraid there's not much to see in here? Alright, just your crazy book. Okay, who are you? Hmm, you look you look like a Tamatoran, but I've not seen you around here before. Stranger, I suppose. Yeah, I've been Matev has been gone for quite a long time. Here lies Tuata Khan, who fell in battle. Alright, it's his uh grave then, as a Suva. Because there are lava streams that run right through Takoro, it can be hard to find your way around. That's why we built this path. Just follow it around and eventually you'll get to where you're going. That's what we've been doing so far. It's so boring around here, even with that blasted Rakshi. Well, probably there's gonna be some more action coming soon. <sighs> Nobody ever comes out to play Koli nowadays. And neither will we. Oh, it's Takua. Hmm, you seem familiar from somewhere. Oh well. And Matev is not telling anyone. <laughs> Everything is always so quiet. I guess it's that Rakshi and his minions that have been attacking. Okay, let's um, try. I guess we're kind of trying to find Vakama's hut, but. Welcome to the Takoro Inn. Would you like to buy an inn pass? Only 20 widgets. Um. Sure, let's do that because. Because in this game, ends work a bit differently, as he will explain to us. Things work around here a, a wee bit different than what you may be used to. You see, you go over to the innkeeper over there and buy an inn pass from him. You can take that downstairs, choose a bed, and have a nice rest. Got it? Yeah, so... It's a kind of a different inn system. Not, Nothing like extraordinary, but... Yeah, it's, it's cool. Okay, what do we have here? Yo, you look like you've done some serious lava surfing in your days. Wanna race me? I do remember this, I think. Yeah, let, let's try it out. Awesome! I think this is... Um, ready? Go! Okay. Alright, yeah, this is quite similar to how in... The Legend of Matazuto, there was that boat racing competition. This is pretty much the same deal, but um, with Kokomas instead of uh, cow cows and, of course, lava. And. Oh, there's also Mirus we can use. Let's see if we can out, out race this guy. Oh, th that was not good. This is not easy. Probably if we find like a mirror we could use that. It requires a little bit of practice, I'm sure. Alright, we gained some ground, but I do think we're gonna lose this one. Unfortunately. It's not too far ahead, but... Oh! Oh! Wow, okay, that was actually really convenient. Okay, we might actually still win this, surprisingly enough. Oh, just as soon as I say that. Oh, okay. Okay, he's not using the mirrors at all, so that gives us a little bit of an advantage here. We definitely have a chance. I don't know if we're going to win, but there's a... We've got a shot, let's just say that. As long as we don't make any stupid mistakes at this point. And of course the mirrors are really good for this. It might be a bit more interesting if that guy also used mirrors. Okay can be long. Yes, we win. Random racers! 
loses. Congratulations. And we get 250 widgets for this. That's actually a very nice reward. It was kind of fun, I have to admit. Sorry, the tunnels to Onokoro are down for repair. Okay, so we're not going to be going to Onokoro yet. Okay, no one's still not playing Koli. Okay, is this the Wall of History? He's after me. I never should have gotten mixed up in this mess. Maybe you could help me. I lost a wager over a Gakko race, and now I'm in deeper than I now I'm in deeper than I can handle. He said he'd kill me if I didn't pay up, but I didn't have the money. He's on his way here now to do away with me. Please, I beg you, meet him and somehow persuade him to leave me alone. Uh yeah, I, it's a side quest. I think we'll take it. You will? Oh thank you. I don't know how close he is, but he can't be too far off now. He's in an onomaton with a really creepy face. Thank you again. The Great Wall of History. The last 25 years tell of confusion and sorrow. Yeah. We're going to be doing that side quest while we do the main quest, I think, because uh, we're going to be heading in the right direction, if I'm correct. Hello there, stranger. What brings you to Takoro? To Ragavakama. I have returned. I'm afraid I don't understand. Who are you? You don't remember me? You do seem familiar, but you couldn't be. I am Matev, the son of the very Toa you have buried outside. No, you can't be. Matev died 25 years ago. It is not so. You expect me to believe that you have just risen from the dead in an island full of the Rakshi's lies. To Ragavakama, what can I do to prove to you that I have returned? I have fought in many battles where the enemy is not what he seems. You are merely a minion devised by shadows. Behold, Turaga, the golden howl of my father, Takan. It is written that the mask of Takan could never be touched by dark hands. The writings are true. He gave this to me before he died. How can this be possible? What truly happened 25 years ago? Listen to my tale, Turaga. When my father died, I fled to the surface. I traveled unnoticed even to the shores of Gawahi. And so I set sail to another island. But now, 15, 15, 25 years, what? Since that day, I have returned to fulfill my destiny. Oh, is that how many days it has been? It was like 25 years. It's yeah, that's not correct. Turaga? I do not ask to be forgiven for my cowar cowardly actions. I ask only that you light my way as you once did. A cowardly action may be righted by a brave one. You have dared to return, Matev, and so there is nothing to forgive. Thank you, Turagavakama. When did you learn that shadows had returned? For twenty-five years, the island was left in the dark about what had happened to you and your father. We knew only that the Rahi had returned to their peaceful state, and that you, Takan, and shadows were all gone. A few days ago, the Rahi began to attack again, a numerous Matoran claimed to have, see, to have seen a black Rakshi. We could only assume the worst. It is a true not miracle that you have returned to save us now. As I said, Matanui sent me. He spoke to me, telling me of all that had happened. I will kill shadows, this I swear. Beware, Matev, for it is not possible to fulfill your promise. What do you mean? You saw your father, the mightiest of Toa, fall to shadows. You as a Matoran shall never have the strength to challenge him. There is a secret, a dark one, one that only we Turaga knew. It was a secret only to be used in the hour of uttermost need. I believe the time has come to share that secret with you, but you must swear never to repeat it to anyone. I swear, Turaga. There are six orbs scattered throughout Matanui. So powerful are they that when combined, 
They have the power to gift one with Toa power. We Turaga took one each and hid them in the darkest places imaginable. These orbs are so secret that, on it, that not even th the Turaga discuss their hiding places with the others. So I must gather these orbs, become a Toa, and then battle shadows. Indeed, but you cannot seek these orbs alone. Choose the most trustworthy Matoran to take along with you, but do not tell them th the secret. I understand. Be wary, for Shadow shall certainly learn of your quest. He shall attempt to kill you whenever he wishes. I won't fail you, Turaga. Good. The Orb of Spirit lies east of the shores. Go there and acquire the orb. Return here when you are finished. It will be done, Turaga. And with that, we have... Uh, no entry. We have gone through the mandatory exposition. And we can sort of uh, begin the game proper. So we are supposed to find these orbs to defeat the Rakshi. Sorry, no entry permitted. And that's basically what this game consists of, finding the orbs. I'm a collector of strange objects. There's a rumor that there are off-world Rahi out there that drop the sorts of stuff that I like. If you find a strange stone, bring it to me. I'll give you a hero point in, exch in exchange. What is a hero point? You don't know? A hero point is a rare object that you can use to purchase upgrades. Okay, what are upgrades? Upgrades are power-ups you can access, you access in your menu. They don't last long, but with good timing they can be very helpful. I have five brothers, one in each of the other Koros. They're looking for the same thing I am, and I'm sure they have plenty of hero points to trade. Oh, was there anything else he would tell us? Yeah, what are off-world Rahi? I'm not certain. Some say they look like ordinary Matoran. And where can we find them? Again, I'm unsure. Seems that they pop up all around the island from time to time. I have five brothers. Uh, okay, yeah. It's just repeating the same thing about the brothers. Now let's see if we can find... Oh, this is actually not where we're supposed to go for the orb. Why is the cable car closed? Because it's broken. Ha! Sorry. And we have a battle against the Fiku. Yeah. That was to be expected. Against that kind of an enemy. Is there... I could swear that the side quest with the... The crazy... Like... Matoran who's trying to kill... The one in Takoro is here somewhere, but oh well. Okay. I was figuring that... I, I figured that the... Uh, Side quests would be possible here. Hmm, what are you looking at? Huh? You want me to lay off, off that bum in Takoro? He owes me a thousand widgets. Maybe I could pay pay you back. Um I don't really know. I think if we choose the second one, it's gonna trigger a fight. If I choose this, then we have to give the money. But I don't know if there's any advantage to that. Uh, we are going to fight this guy. You're as dumb as a Rahi if you want to fight me. Oh, we're actually quite low on health. <laughs> although this... Uh, although Matev is quite strong already, actually. He has a good starting point here. I think we're gonna heal. Um, yeah. Oh wow, the potion actually doesn't do like anything. Let's try something else. A high potion. Okay, that's better. But Matev has a crazy amount of HP actually, considering his level. But I think we'll be able to survive this fight. I'm not sure what would have happened if we actually volunteered to pay. I mean, we would lose the money, but the question I the question I have in mind is if we would actually benefit from that in some significant way. 
we might have to heal again soon. Yeah, it's time to heal. Definitely. Hopefully this battle doesn't take too long anymore, because we're running out of potions. And he is actually quite strong. So maybe he was right enough. <laughs> being so uh, boastful. I don't know how long this... Maybe we should just switch to this kind of battle and use the fire pillar. Oh, okay, that, that did the trick. And we got a thousand widgets. Ah. Uh. Oh. We... I guess... Oh, there's uh, two different kinds of enemies here. I guess with that we beat the side quest. Maybe we still have to speak to the Matoran to get a prize or something like that. But for now I think we're gonna end it off here actually, because we've already done quite a lot in this episode. We went through all the mandatory exposition, found out what we have to do next, and we even completed a side quest. So that's, I think, quite uh, nice for for one episode. So in the next episode we're gonna go to the shore and after the first orb that we need to collect. But until then, see you guys later.